Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenny and I like to try and review things to make sure you're saving your damn money and your damn time. Today's video, we are in quarantine. Um, I've been in my house for about 14-ish days now. I just hope everyone's social distancing with everything that's going on. Stay inside, stay safe, and thank you so much for everyone who does have to go out and work and doesn't have the luxury to stay in and stay safe but if you do have the luxury to stay in please do so please so this can be over with staying indoors comes a lot of ideas last week my first week indoors i was thinking about when i went to go get my hair done as you see right now it's like a goldish color i originally wanted silver hair and she said that was not possible off the bat so we decided to just like start the bleaching process and do all of that but I found on Instagram this company called Overtone. Basically, it's like temporary hair dye, like temporary color that does not damage the hair. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Ring the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So the way that I chose this color, I was in between the rose gold and the silver because rose gold just sounds really pretty. But the more that I looked at it, it was like too pink for what I want. I want like a light and beautiful rose gold, but the color of my hair, I don't think would would adapt to the light intensity so they have different intensity levels light a medium and then there's like intense so if you have darker hair you want to go for the intense for dark brown hair because they do have overtones for brown hair so if you have brown hair you don't need to bleach to get an overtone you can get like a nice overtone of purple like you know those girls who have like really dark brown hair but in the light you can see that their hair is kind of purple you're like oh where is that purple coming from that's what overtone does i chose the medium intensity of silver which is what i wanted anyways to begin with so we're gonna open my box the back is a poster okay overtone it's a coloring conditioner by the way you can buy things separately or you can buy things in a kit my kit was around 40. what's annoying is that even if you buy the kit you still have to pay for shipping so i don't like that off the bat what can you do this just gives you instructions before diving into all over pigment, take a color for a test drive. Section off a small piece of hidden hair, tie back the rest of your strands, and apply the conditioner from root to tip. Five to 15 minutes, and then rinse for results. Scared of stains? Wrap it up. And it's gloves. Turns or exchanges. But the box says we almost added a mirror in here. But you already know how good you look. There's a lot of tissue in here. I folded some up because i like to save this tissue for presents like when i give people presents so i don't have to go and buy tissue also wasteful save the tissue here we have the vibrant silver daily conditioner it's a travel sized and then big vibrant silver daily conditioner the vibrant silver coloring conditioner so this is safe it's not hair dye per se it's like kind of like when you take a colored hair dye and mix it with conditioner and put it together I'm gonna do a little section of my hair. This one that we can reach. We're just gonna put some on this little strand of my hair. I'm not gonna wear gloves because I, I don't think it's gonna stain my nails. It comes sealed. Maybe I should wear gloves. Okay, have a little bit. It smells so good. Like, I don't know, it smells like licorice. All right, I think. This is fully coated. It's very thick in consistency. A little hard to spread. This is officially fully coated. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And I'll come back when I wash it out and it's done. Count to 15. Well, I'm not sure if this picks up on camera, but it has that silver overtone and it looks really fucking cool there's little sections of yellow where it just like doesn't <laughs> stick my boyfriend's here look at his toes very cool so what i'm gonna do is when i do my whole head i i'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes instead of 15 and see if maybe it'll take better the instructions recommend that you wash it out with hot water i feel like if i went with a high intensity one i would have gotten the exact color that i was looking for and it would have faded to like a lighter silver but i was scared of that so middle intensity let's go do my whole head please ignore my dog's reusable diapers in the back they are hanging to dry yes he wears reusable diapers he is 10 years old and a mess i don't have a lot of hair so this for sure like half the tub is gonna 
be good for my hair. I'm going to put a towel around my shoulder. This towel is by Akis. It is an expensive towel, my friends, but I use it for everything. Like a bib. Hmm. There's a look. Gloves. Bright ideas. I could try and do this again another time. I used this much, not a lot. I also have very thin hair. I didn't want to waste a lot of it. It's expensive. But just so you guys know, this is vegan, cruelty-free, and sulfate-free. Suitable for all hair types. So that is why I decided to go with this brand. As you know, sulfate-free is very important to me. I am allergic to sulfates. <clears throat> also going vegan and cruelty-free is in the works when it comes to everything even makeup i need to go through all my makeup and it's something i keep putting it off and i keep getting anxiety every time i try to film a video and do it and i just can't so it's just like i'm overwhelmed it's not that i can't go cruelty free it's that i get overwhelmed with how much product i do own and it just freaks me out and i can't go through it and i stop it's been about 35 minutes it is time to wash this off so right off the bat it seems a little bit dark so we're gonna go ahead and blow dry i'm gonna put some of this restore leave-in conditioning serum which is also vegan cruelty free sulfate free by ekis the same people who did the hair towel and let's switch that here it is it's still a little wet i didn't blow dry too much because i don't like using heat that much it looks definitely darker. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks darker. It has canceled out the really bright, like, orangey yellows in my hair. Although, my one complaint is that some strands look green. And I don't like that. So, it looks green to me. I don't know if that's because of the indoor lighting. There are some strands that are really, really silver. Definitely not what I think thought was gonna happen i should have gone with the more vibrant one for it to be like actual silver and maybe go for the silver for brown hair even though i was bleached i could have done like a dark silver and it would have faded to what i wanted it to be but i was just testing it out i don't know if that's how hair dye works like if i dye it a dark silver will it just fade to like a light silver eventually <laughs> will it cancel out all this yellow or do i have to bleach again any hairdressers watch my videos please leave suggestions in the comments yeah and i know you're gonna tell me to go to a hairdresser but if there's anything that i can do to cancel out the orange i don't know the overtone definitely works i hate that you have to pay for shipping even though you spend 50 bucks you still have to pay for shipping it does work as advertised i chose medium it showed me what it would look like it said it would look like something like this but obviously i have darker parts in my hair that didn't take to it well um, but yeah, over time, I feel like it will help my oranges fade and like the gold tones and stuff. The product itself felt really nice washing it out. It was like very like soft and it left my hair very soft. I just put a little bit of leave-in and a little bit of oil after because my hair is processed. So other than that, it's super soft. It didn't do any damage to my hair. It feels the same. This looks like I got, um like darker highlights instead of like brighter highlights that i had before there you go guys this is my stupid quarantine idea um don't tell my hairdresser sabrina i'm sorry <laughs> out of five stars i give it a 
four. <laughs> didn't pay attention to what the website was saying and I did whatever I wanted and it came out the way the website said it would come out. I feel gothy. I don't know. I like the vibes. Here you go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Leave in the comments any crazy thing you have done during this quarantine. I know people are cutting their bangs, dyeing their hair, trying to do their own dip nails at home. Just let me know what you're doing to try and survive this quarantine. Don't do your eyebrows yourself, you'll fuck them up. As always, if there's anything that you want me to review from the internet, leave it in the comments as well and I will do that for you guys. Thank you for watching, stay beautiful, I love you, peace. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to me